Good afternoon, everybody, and what a beautiful afternoon it is. It is one of those perfect days you only dream about. It is like low humidity, and it is, you know, like these soft breezes and these light fluffy clouds in the sky. It's just perfect right now. And I hope if you're experiencing anything like this that you've had a chance to get out and enjoy it a bit. I know I, for one, was out a little bit earlier, but then I came in to do some work on a project and hope to go out and enjoy more of it later. It's just been one of those weeks where I just, oh, you know, for June especially, it's not too humid at all. It's actually very mild temperatures. So I'm going to enjoy that while I can. But while I was um, taking a break, I was actually taking a coffee break. See, got my coffee mug here. Oh, isn't this so cute? This is one of my favorite coffee mugs. Anyway, I was taking a little coffee break here and in doing so, I noticed a friend posted a photo of something that I thought was, you know, really like it kind of inspired me to share a poem that I wrote a couple of years ago because I just loved this picture she posted and it was very dreamy and I'll explain more about that later. But first, I also wanted to read another short poem that I happened to stumble upon. Okay, so um, I wanted to see if you could tell which popular song that this poem inspired. So it comes from this book right here. This is where I discovered it anyway. It doesn't come from this book because it was written in like the 1500s, but it comes from, this is where I found it. I discovered it in this book, which is an amazing book. It's called A Poem for Every Summer Day, and it's part of a series, and I'm fortunate enough to have all the volumes to this, and I just find these books to be so amazing. I mean, I love the the covers and they're all, you know, and just the seasonal inspired poems inside. And there's a lot of classic poetry and all kinds of fun little treasures to, you know, discover in these books. So I highly recommend you get these if you're into that kind of thing. But this is the one that was for yesterday. It's called Cradle Song by Thomas Decker. Oh, I'm sorry. It was written in 1603. So just to be more specific. Now, this, like I said, inspired, clearly inspired, a very, very well-known song. Let's see if you can guess which one. Golden slumbers kiss your eyes. Smiles awake you when you rise. Sleep pretty wantons, do not cry. And I will sing a lullaby. Rock them, rock them, lullaby. Care is heavy, therefore sleep you. You are care, and care must keep you. Sleep pretty wantons, do not cry, and I will sing a lullaby. Rock them, rock them, lullaby. And by now, if you're familiar with the song, you know instantly that it was what inspired the lyrics to the Beatles hit Golden Slumbers. And the funny thing is, is I love when you discover things like this because I had no idea that that song was inspired by an old poem, a classic poem. And I just thought, wow, it's always kind of fun to discover those things um, because sometimes you just automatically assume that the performer is also the author. But as it turns out, Paul McCartney was at his father's house when he saw this sheet music for this uh, this poem on his piano, but he couldn't read music, so he added his own music to it, and then that's where the song Golden Slumbers was born. And so I just found that to be an interesting bit of trivia to pass on to you, um, because, you know, I figure if I didn't know it, probably other people didn't either, and it's always, like I said, fun to discover things like that. Um, it's always, like, surprising, isn't it? But as for my poem that I'm going to share, um, what my friend posted was a picture of this cute little house that was on the sea and it was just so adorable and it was just very ideal. So it made me think of the poem I wrote a couple of years ago called A Cottage by the Sea. And I thought, you know, what a beautiful day to share that, that sentiment. So I dedicate this to my dear friend Bridget, who I've known for many, many, many years, but she is a kindred spirit and I um, just love her. And she's the one that posted the picture. So hi, Bridget. Just wanted to do this one in honor of you. It's called A Cottage by the Sea. I do not want a mansion or regal brick estate, no manor set upon some foreign land. Overlooking acreage of lawns neatly landscaped, no, I do not wish for anything quite so grand. But all that I desire to make me warm of heart is but a simple cottage by the sea. With room enough to prop your feet, all cozy by the fire, a happy place for the one I love in me. 
To talk of ships and sealing wax and things we've read in books, we'd while away the hours in deep discussion and laugh out loud at silly stuff no one would ever understand without the slightest fear of repercussion. Flowers would adorn each nook, candles lit with nature scent, twinkle lights would hang on every wall. And oh, the sweetest melodies would occupy this lovely home while peals of joy would echo down the halls. Just outside, a perfect view, with cushy seating just for two, where we would sit all morning in the sun. And that is where we'd spend our days, surrounded in such beauty, enjoying each and every single one. And so that is basically my ideal of a perfect home and the home that I strive to create here. Now there's no ocean views here, but I do have a lake view. And so I do my best to create what I would say would be my dream home where I'm at. And that is exactly what adorns each nook is I have um, just a home that I try to fill with the things that are, you know, lovely. Um, I have twinkle lights everywhere. And even right now I have several candles lit. My house smells like a combination of lilacs, the beach, and uh oh in garden rain so i love those kinds of scents and you know just uh, filling it with music and with good books and discussion and laughter and that's what i think every home happy home consists of and so i just wanted to share that and i hope that it inspired you today to continue to make your home the ideal happy home that you would have in mind i hope you have a glorious summer day